during the installation of uh, reinforcement for reinforced uh, concrete uh, elements on site. Uh, we had completed the first level of walls and slab and the team was ready to start uh, the installation of reinforcement for the above walls. It was quickly realized that uh, there was a location where we had we should had a clear door opening but uh, we had starter bars coming up. Uh, so we, I quickly realized that first of all that was my fault because as a site engineer I didn't control a check and inspect properly the works on the previous levels and the result was starter bars coming inside a door opening. Uh, instead of hiding it, I gathered evidence, I gathered photographs, measurements, and uh, I compiled uh, a non-conformance report. I presented it to my line manager and raised it with the client to take remedial actions. The fact that I openly recognized my mistake, I raised it with the client, I showed that I approached ethically my work with integrity and sincerity that reassured our client for our professionalism and our trustworthiness as a team and uh, as a contractor. Part of my job as a Bridges and Structures Inspector requires me to work individually by myself whilst out on site. Obviously working on a railway, our site is mainly railway. As a day inspector, it does require me working whilst the trains are running, whilst the electricity on the tracks is live. Uh, to ensure I comply with safety regulations, not only that, but for my own health and safety, I do have to follow rules given to me to make my, my, my job safer. I first, when I'm working by myself, I always have to contact the nearest station and the line controller who will then inform the train, the section of track that I'm in, that there is a, the train operators, that there is a person on the track in the given area. Also, on my person, I have to ensure that I have the correct standards on me, method statements for any works that might be carried out. And these have to be carried on me at all times in case I'm audited. I also have to carry my competency. I have to ensure all my certificates are in date to ensure I'm valid to work on track at a given time. The way I've committed to this standard uh, is I organise CPD events in our office uh, and we invite local engineers, the council, uh, other architects, contractors and such to come along um, to a CPD event uh, and we invite a company in um, with uh, um, a new product or a new uh, service or new software to come along, talk about it. It's a bit of a social lunchtime thing, ha have a couple of sandwiches. Um, and uh, I think that's very important for, for us as up-and-coming engineers to, um, to be up-to-date with this training uh, and it's a, a requirement as a member of the ICE uh, to keep the CPD uh, regular and to keep up-to-date with the uh, profession that we're in. Part of my job is to carry out inspection within an underground network on civil assets and, in all, and before doing this I have to um, do desktop studies of the asset and on this desktop study I find out the location of the asset, um, previous work orders, so if there were any issues on the asset um, previously mentioned on inspections and also in some cases environmental challenges. An example of an um, environmental challenge that I came across um, was at Neesden Depot um, within a brick tunnel, MR30, where um, bats are known to be nesting um, at that location. So after finding out that um, bats um, are nesting within this location, um, I contacted the batology which is found on our LiveLink um, internet database. Um, when going out to inspect the asset, the batologist um, told myself and the staff that were with me to remain in a safe area while he inspects the tunnel, goes through the tunnel making sure that um, the inspection can be carried out. But I made sure that I would stay clear of these sites um, as you would um, during an inspection.
Um, to continue my professional development, I like to attend local meetings and talks when they're being held by the ICE. Um, I also enjoy reading the NCE magazine, which I have delivered on a regular basis, and I also receive um, emails um, on the latest developments within the industry from the ICE, so I can read up about other development or new developments within the industry um, and then implement them on site where it's applicable. Um, I also like to network within my own company, speaking to previous team members and existing to learn from their previous experiences um, and to gain any knowledge from them that I can that might help to progress my works um, and maybe some new innovations that might work within my team as well. Um, I also like to learn about new methods of works um, and new materials that are coming out to see if they can help me on existing and future projects. As an uh, IWA uh, certified uh, bridge examiner, I can work on my own, uh, on, on track side. And there are certain uh, procedures which I have to comply every time. Like uh, when I'm on track side, I have to contact my uh, call center and inform that I'm on track side in such and such time. And I have to mutually agree with the person on the other end that I'll be calling back them within a, uh, within a mutually agreed time. I have to uh, call back them within the agreed time and inform them I left the track safely. For my CPD, um, I, um, I chased up this BAM supervisor's training program, which I spoke to my line manager about. So uh, it's, it's run over 18 months, which it has 18 modules. Um, it gives you an insight into how we, how you order plants, uh, different leadership skills. So from that, I benefited on to be more confident, given briefings, uh, the roles and responsibilities of a supervisor, um, to deal with is HR issues, environmental issues, um, ordering plant and labour for uh, for different programs of work. It has benefited me um, that I'm able to have progressed my career within the company. I'm now uh, currently a foreman looking to get to the next uh, level. Um, it has given me confidence. Um, I'm able to approach different situations. On my last project, uh, we had a big uh, underground space uh, which we were sharing with another main contractor. Uh, due to their activities, we had a lot of uh, varying noise uh, levels at varying areas uh, of uh, the site, which made it very difficult for us uh, to put up traditional warning uh, signs for hearing protection. That forced us uh, to forced us uh, to uh, seek for an alternative solution. So my uh, job, my task, was to seek for another type uh, of um, warning signs, such as the noise activated warning signs, that could uh, be a suitable match for our case. My first action was to research the products, the possible suppliers for its uh, product, uh, see the requirements of our side, of our client, and the specs of uh, the different uh, solutions that we had. Uh, I gathered the, all this information together with quotes from the suppliers, and I present them to my uh, team and the project manager. Uh, after the decision on the preferred uh, product, I conducted uh, the supplier, arranged for the delivery of uh, the products on our site. I worked with the uh, quantity surveyors and uh, the works team to create the instructions uh, for the team. Uh, I coordinate with them to create the method statement, the risk assessment for the works, and we completed safely quickly and on the right way at the installation on site. 